Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Innovate Yourself. My name is Ashish Saini and in today's session you will learn that how to interface Node MCU with Soil Moisture Sensor. And also we will learn that how you are going to use it in your day to day life. Right. So let's start with that. So firstly we will see that what is Soil Moisture Sensor and why we are going to use it. So the definition for it. So the mo soil moisture sensor is used to measure the volumetric content of soil. So in short, you are just going to check that what is the content of water that your land or soil contains so that you can further accordingly give the water supply to your land. So this is directly linking uh, example for your farmers like the farmers are having a land but you do not know that whether your land is full with moisture or it is not filled with moisture. So in that case you can use this soil moisture sensor and accordingly just give the supply of water to your land. So you can use it like that. So this makes it ideal for performing experiments in courses such as soil science, agriculture science, environmental science, horticulture, botany and biology. So these are the different fields where you can use this concept and further you can use them according to your needs. So this is all about the uses of your soil moisture sensor and accordingly you can use it with node MCU. So now what you have to do is you just have to make the connections for your node MCU with the soil moisture sensor so that you can further use it in your day to life with your projects that you want to cover. So this is a node MCU which we have already done and this is the soil moisture sensor which is having a module with itself and further you are going to connect it directly to your node MCU so that you can further check the soil moisture using this lead and accordingly it will just send a signal to the module which it is attached to and further it will send a signal to your node MCU and further your node MCU will decide that what you have to do in your project. So this is the way how your soil moisture sensor will work with your node MCU. Now let's move further and let's make the connections of both of them together and accordingly we'll see that how it is working practically. So now let's make the connections. So to make the connections, I'm having a circuit diagram on your screen. So just have a look on this. So here you are having a node MCU and you're connecting your node MCU to your soil moisture sensor and in soil moisture sensor there are totally four pins. Four pins are having a pin out. The one is VCC, the next is ground, then DO and AO. So DO and AO are the digital output and the analog output. So in short, you can get both kind of outputs using this module which is connected to your soil moisture and accordingly you can use it with your projects. So in my case, I'm going to use it as an analog sensor because I want to read the analog type of value because in soil moisture, there are not only two kind of values or you will not get only two kind of outputs, which is zero and one. You can get other values apart from these two values as well. So in that case, I will just check the humidity and the moisture level of my soil and accordingly will give you some output. So for that, let's make the connections accordingly. So for that, I am using the AO pin connecting to A0 on node MCU. So I have just specified the connections according to the sensor and node MCU here. So you can see this here. Now let's make the connection and accordingly we will see that how does it works. So now you can see we have made the connections of my node MCU to the soil moisture sensor which is connected with a module which is this one and it is having these pinouts which you can see AO, DO, GND and VCC which are the VCC and the ground power supply and A0 which is the analog output and on the other side I am connecting it to the lead which will be inserted inside your soil and accordingly you will be able to check that what is the moisture content inside your soil. So this is the way how I have connected this and here I have connected this orange pin to the VCC which is here and accordingly the yellow one to the ground and the green one on the other side is connected to 
A0 which is the first pin which is being used as an analog pin so I am using it like that so this is the complete interfacing of your soil moisture with your node MCU now let's go back and start creating a program and further we will see how does it works so we are done with the connections now let's start writing a code so for that just open Ariano ID and let's see how to write the code and what code we should write in this case so you have the code on your screen in this you can see we are having two functions the setup and the loop in setup we are using this first line which is pin mode a0 as input so in short we are just defining a pin number a0 as an input pin which is an analog pin so that i can read the analog values coming from my moisture sensor which is this one so this will just send a analog type of value and accordingly i will just use that but in my case i will not use it instead i will just display those values on my serial monitor so serial monitor what is this serial monitor let's see what is this serial monitor in here on the top side here you can see there is one option which is serial monitor so this is the serial monitor on which you can display any of the values in short it is just a lcd display for you where you can send the messages coming from your node mcu and accordingly you will just display the value so in this case we will just read the values coming from my moisture sensor and accordingly we'll just print those values on my serial monitor so for that i have to initialize or begin my serial monitor by setting up a baud rate so for that i'm writing serial dot begin serial dot begin means you are just starting the serial monitor so this is the command for that and within that bracket you are just sending one value which is 9600 and this 9600 is a baud rate and now you must be thinking that what is this baud rate so baud rate is a data transfer rate in short you are just sending some data and you are just receiving some data so in that case you need a data speed rate so that you can accordingly send the data because if the speed is not appropriate or the speed is not same in that case what will happen some of your data will definitely get lost so in that case you must set a baud rate which will be set for your node mcu as well as for your serial monitor on your system so one baud rate will be set for your serial monitor and one baud rate will be set for your node mcu so this baud rate which i am setting in the program is for your node mcu and the baud rate which will be set for your serial monitor will be set here and that i will show you when i will just upload the program so this is a thing which you need to write only once so i have just written it inside my setup function so now come to the loop function and see what are the things that you need to check again and again or to perform the task again and again so for that just go inside loop and the first thing that you need to check again and again is the value coming from your soil moisture sensor so the values that i am checking here is of integer data type so i'm just setting a data type as int which is a integer and again i'm setting a variable name which is moisture is equals to analog read because in this case i want to read the analog type of value so i'm just writing analog read like we have already done the digital type of value but if in case you want to check the digital type of values coming from this moisture sensor so you just need to write this digital read and accordingly just send the values so you can you do that as well but in my case i want to check the analog type of value so i'm just passing analog read within bracket a0 and now in the next line i want to display the values coming from my soil moisture sensor which is this one so i'm just reading those values and now i want to print those values on my serial monitor which i have just initialized here so my next task is to print those values on my serial monitor so for that you have to write a command serial dot print serial will tell you that you want to use a serial monitor this time and what function you want to use on that is to print the value and print ln means you are going to print the values and then you will just move to the next line and what message you want to print and that message is stored inside the moisture which is a variable containing the values from your soil moisture sensor 
so you are just printing that and after that i have to provide a delay and delay should not be of uh, a longer period because if you will provide a delay of a longer period then what will happen is during that time period you will not be able to read the values coming from your moisture sensor so in short you have to pass a very low delay so that's why i'm just passing a value as 100 milliseconds if you want to reduce this value as well so you can reduce that as well but in my case i'm using this as 100 only so that is okay for me so i'm just setting this value so this is a complete program in which you have just defined the pin which you want to use as input and you have just initialized the serial monitor and then you have just read the values coming from your soil moisture sensor and then you are just displaying those values on serial monitor with a time delay of 100 milliseconds now our program is done now it's time to upload the program and further check that how does your soil moisture sensor works so just connect your node mcu first so here is my node mcu now i have to connect it to my system so for that just connect it so i have just connected it now let's go back to the program now you have connected your node mcu to your system so for that just go to tools and check for the board and port number so board is already selected and board is also automatically selected as com7 so i do not need to change it so just click on it and just upload the program now so just click on this and it will start uploading the program so you got one error just remove this now again upload it So your program is uploaded successfully now it's time to check that whether your program is working successfully or not so for that let's just open the serial monitor first like this is my soil moisture now i want to just check that whether i'm getting the correct output or not so just open it so here you can see by default you are getting a value as 1024 so that means if you will not put any of the moisture on this then you will get the maximum value now let's just check it by inserting it inside your soil or any of the sand so just insert it so here is my circuit and you are having this sand here which is quite uh, full of moisture now i will just put my lead of my soil moisture sensor inside this and we'll see that what values are we getting on putting it inside the mold so just insert this and you can see there is a lot more change when you will insert it inside this because this soil is very much full of moisture and that's why your value is changing from around 1024 to around 265 to 66 like that so the values got reduced rapidly so that's why we are going to use it and in the same way if you will remove this you will get a values as 1024 as you can see it on your screen right so this is the way how you can use it and in the same way you can use it in your day to day life as well now just close this so this was the way how you have interfaced your node mcu with your soil moisture sensor and also you have seen the working of it in our today session and similarly you can use it in your day to day life as well but this was it for your today session and i hope everything was very clear to you in the topic which i have taught you in our today session but still if you are having any queries related to the topics in our today session then don't hesitate just leave a comment below in the comment section so that i can resolve all your problems at the earliest 
so if you have liked this video then please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos and also you can suggest me if you want some kind of a videos that i can make then please leave a comment regarding that as well and till then bye bye and thanks for watching this video